Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is our lesson 2 on Catalan Automation Tool Concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can we install and how can we set up Catalan Studio so that we can start automating our test cases. So as you all know, uh, in my previous lesson, lesson 1, I have introduced you to the Catalan Studio. I have explained you the concepts of Catalan Studio and why do we use Catalan Studio? What is the demand that has uh, Catalan in market, right? What are all the different platforms it supports, etc. Okay, this is really a very good automation tool in the market compared to the test project. Okay, so let's jump onto the system and learn how can we install and uh, set up the Catalan Studio. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on these concepts. Thank you. Okay, so what is the installation prerequisites? First, we need to check the system requirements and also I'm going to teach how to download and start using Catalan Studio. Okay, so let's see first the system requirements before we install Catalan Studio. So, Catalan Studio can be installed on any Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating systems. And also in Mac you can install in 10.11 or later OS versions, right? And also we can install in Linux also. It supports Linux, op Linux operating system as well. And the CPU minimum uh, 2H are faster 32-bit and 62-bit processors. Okay. And memory at least 2 GB RAM should be available. Minimum 2 GB. Right. And then hard drive you should have at least 1 GB available in your hard disk. Okay. So these are the minimum system requirements to install the Catalan Studio. Okay. So now let's jump onto the system and show you how can we install and set up the Catalan Studio tool. Okay. It's really very easy steps to follow. Uh, so once the installation is finished in the upcoming sessions, I'm going to start teaching you the concepts of automation. Basically, how can we start the initial first web UI test automation and then how can we perform mobile automation? How can we perform API automation and the parallel browsing testing, cross browser testing, cross platform testing and uh, continuous integration. Basically, how can you integrate Jenkins? All these concepts I'm going to cover one by one in the upcoming lessons. Okay, so first we need to open our Chrome browser. Okay, and then let's type catalan.com. Okay, this is a Catalan official website. So before we start a uh, setup and installation, let me tell you this tool is entirely free. Okay, so you need not to worry about the licensing cost. Okay, so here once you land on to catalan.com, so it's a latest 2022 uh, website. Okay, so you need to click on get started. The process might be a little different compared to the previous year. Okay, uh, once you click on get started, so you will be landing on to the page where it shows the products. So which product do you want to download? Do you want to download Catalan Studio or do you want to download Catalan Desktops? Okay, for now, I want to download the Catalan Studio. So click on create your first test. As soon as you click on create your first test, it automatically identifies your system, whether it is a Windows or not, and which shows your Windows 64 bit on the system. And it will start downloading the software by default. So I want to cancel this one right now. Okay. If you see here, Catalan Studio and Runtime Engine. 
so basically if you want to download catalan studio you can download catalan studio so if you want to download catalan studio for different operating systems you can select from the drop down so my operating system it by default identifies and recognizes that my operating system is windows with 64 bit okay and also runtime engine so for now i'm not going to cover runtime engine okay let's proceed with catalan studio okay so as soon as you select your platform and click on download so as soon as you click on download it's gonna start downloading the operating system okay so now let's go back to the location where i have downloaded the catalan studio okay so if you see this is my catalan studio zip file where i have downloaded so once you download the zip file you just need to unzip the zip file okay so once you unzip the zip file you can see one catalan dot exe file right so you just need to double click on this before you double click let me tell you you need to register so if you see here i already registered to the catalan so where i have used my username and password so basically you have to provide your email and the password right and then your job title that's it so when you register for the first time you need to provide your name email of your organization and then password that's it so you have to remember your email and password so that whenever you start your catalan right for the first time it's going to ask you to provide the email and password which you have created while registering to the catalan.com that's it right so once you unzip your zip file all you need to do is click on this catalan runnable file that's it so let me right click and show you what is this extension this is dot exe extension so as soon as i click on this it takes hardly a minute to load your default a project that is being created by catalan studio okay so if you see this is my catalan and it loads you so currently i have a, a some of the test cases i created right but when you are opening the catalan for the first time it's gonna have this entire structure for sure okay so let me it's just opening all the tabs okay so it's gonna have the entire structure let me tell you so as soon as you load you will see the project structure like this so where the profiles it will show you the profiles it's gonna show a test case says folder is going to show object repository folder it's going to show test suits and then data files checkpoints keywords test listeners test reports test ops and then plugin folders right so you will see all these default uh, structure as soon as you click on catalan.exe file right so if you want to add this catalan.exe file to the desktop or on your taskbar right click and then send to desktop right or you can drag and drop on your taskbar you can drag this and drop sorry you can drag the icon and drop onto your taskbar that's it so that you need not to go to the location every time okay so if you want to start catalan just click on this right so catalan tool is a really very rich in design and you will have lot of options on your um, menu okay so and also if you go to the website and click on resources and then go to documentation right you will find all the information related to catalan studio and how to use it and what are all the different options you have if you have any queries you can come here if you see about product and license and catalan studio enterprise and how can you start your setup right setup process installation 
and what are all the options you have on the toolbar why do you use your these options in the toolbar so i'm going to explain anyway all the options in the upcoming lesson right and then also uh, you can see a uh, catalan runtime engine and what is your catalan store what are all the different add-ons you will have right plugins and add-ons and then also catalan recorder how does this catalan recorder works so basically you will find you will find entire guide help guide in documentation right so you need not to worry so if you see here the contest also you can see at the right side right so so you will have entire documentation or help guide before you i mean basically along with your installation so if you any if you have any questions you can visit this help guide as well okay so and the catalan has as i told you you can directly integrate integrate with your git repository as well you can integrate with your jenkins you can integrate with your uh, devops right so it is a it is very helpful in continuous integration you can perform data driven uh, testing so all these sorts of um, advantages you have by using catalan okay so this is a really really very easy installation and setup right hope you all understand the concept how to install and how to set up your catalan in the system right and how can you refer the help guide in installation once you install and then you can learn many things in the help guide so in the upcoming sessions we will start automating our test cases a really very helpful sessions i'm going to post in future stay tuned stay tuned to this channel right so if you have any questions please provide your comments in the comment box okay so that i'll try to reply to your comments please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on these concepts thank you